Well, if you've ever groaned, oh, my aching back, you're certainly not alone. Back pain is one of the most common medical problems. And for most people, the pain goes away on its own. But for others, it can lead to surgery and months of recovery. In a special medical moment, Maureen tells us about a breakthrough procedure now available here in Michiana that can get you back on your feet in no time. I've had back surgery twice and glad to say both were very successful. My surgeon gets an A+. Plus. But back surgery is a big decision. Many decide to live with the pain rather than have surgery on their spine. Now an extreme spine surgery is putting patients back on their feet and very quickly. It's a quiet morning outside George DeMeyer's New Carlisle farm. I was born a farmer and lived that way all my life. But farming has gotten harder these days because of chronic back pain. You abuse yourself over the years. Abuse from years of doing what he loved here and as a foreman at a steel plant in New Carlisle. We work on machinery, tear machinery apart. Now retired from the steel plant, it's George's turn to get fixed. I told everybody, I said, well, this is George's year to go in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> Your lovely film. George's okay. body shop is an operating room at St. Joseph Regional Medical Center. His mechanic, Surgeon Thomas Mango, who is performing what's called extreme lateral inner body fusion. The first in northern Indiana to perform the surgery, he's done it countless times at a hospital out east. It's not that extreme. It's really a lateral approach to the spine. Dr. Mango meets with George and his wife right before surgery. Okay, and we're going to go in on your left side, so you're going to be right side down. So we're going to come right in here and put the implant in. It's going to go almost completely across the bone. That's right. Dr. Mango will operate on George's spine through his side. You all ready? I'm ready. <laughs> all right. Let's get her done. I was ready last night. <laughs> and while George invited us into surgery, he started having second thoughts about what we might be showing. Dr. Mango kept it light. I told you what we're doing. It's going to be right on the Internet. <laughs> Going through George's side instead of through his back or front, extreme lateral is less invasive spine surgery in spite of the name. We don't have to cut any of the muscles, we just spread them apart. And what we do in approaching from the side is we avoid the, the big vessels in the front, the great vessels in the front, we avoid the nerves in the back, and it allows us access to the disc to put in a very large, basically it's a cinder block. It's pretty much a, a plastic cinder block and the holes in the middle, except we, instead of lining the cinder block this way, we line it the other way because we want bone to grow through the middle of it. So yeah. it's kind of like a sideways cinder no, block. It's the moment of truth, and we all suit up for surgery. Dr. Mango and fellow surgeon Annette Smith scrub in. Surgery will take about two hours, and Dr. Mango and his team get George positioned. You want to go ahead and grab his arm here for me? I'll go ahead and start putting his needles in. Needles put in to monitor George's nerves. Plus a couple of extra, just as grounds, and um, that helps keep us safe. So while this team of nine prepares to make George among the first in Michiana to have this revolutionary back surgery. Our three, four lateral lumbar inner body fusion. Patient has no allergies. Capsules in. George is undoubtedly unconsciously thinking of getting back to work in his very own field of dreams. With the medical moment, Maureen McFadden, New Center 16. Now tomorrow night at 11, Mo takes us back to the operating room where you'll be able to see how extreme lateral inner body fusion works and we'll let you know how George is doing a month later. And for more information on this procedure, you can go to our website, WNDU.com, and click on this story. Well, if you've got an aching back, you're not alone. At some point in our lives, most of us do something to hurt our backs. And for many, surgery is the only option. Well, tonight... In a special medical moment, Mo takes us inside the operating room for extreme spine surgery. And it's actually getting patients back on their feet much faster. You can never see the buildings. At George DeMeyer is a farmer and retired factory foreman whose back has taken a beating. It is what it is. You know, over the years, it's, it just progressively has gotten worse. And we're going to go in on your left side. He's going in for a procedure called extreme lateral inner body fusion. Because we want bone to grow through the middle of it. Most so back surgeries are done through, well, the back. But George's back will be fixed by Dr. Thomas Mango, who will go through the side. It's funny, the name extreme sort of scares some people. It was a completely different approach. The two ways to get to the spine essentially have been going through the back and going through the belly. Now we had 
a way to get to the spine without having to disturb the, the great vessels, the aorta and the vena cava in the front, and without having to disturb the nerves in the backs. The thing is, it's very foreign to most surgeons. But Dr. Mango, who recently moved to Michiana from the East Coast, has performed this okay? surgery countless times. Okay. George is among the first patients in northern Indiana. Everyone in the OR wears lead jackets because Dr. Mango will call for x-rays throughout the surgery. We're lining up the center of the disc. We have a mark on the patient exactly where the center of the disc is based on the x-ray over here. And we're now going to make our incision to start to approach that area. After making the incision, Dr. Mango uses a retractor to move George's muscles out of the way. That three-inch incision is the only one Dr. Mango will make. We don't have to cut any of the muscles. We just spread them apart. And going in from the side, we're going to be away from the center axis of rotation of the spine. So it doesn't hurt as much. The guide wire is now down in the center of the disc. All right, so if you can see the monitor over there. Close monitoring lets Dr. Mango know where George's nerve is so he can stay clear. X-ray, X-ray. Finding the spot he's looking for. Beautiful. A massive camera is brought in so Dr. Mango can get a better look at the disc. And now it's time for this surgeon to use his tools on a patient who has worked machinery all his life. When you look down here now, this needle is right in the disc, and this white glistening stuff that you're looking at here is the disc at space itself. If George were awake, he might be surprised by the mechanics that go into removing his bad disc. A little hammering. It's going to gently get us through that other side. I'm sure gently is a, an interesting term. The purpose for that gentle tapping is to free up the far side of the disc. Just like a cleat on a baseball shoe. The OR manager uses a model to give us a better idea of the area where George's new disc will go. With many tools that may look similar to a well-stocked tool shed, it's time to pick an implant that will replace George's disc. That's a test implant. That's the metal one. A little more gentle tapping. And now it's time for George's permanent implant. So this is the actual implant going This is the actual implant. In it goes. Firmly in place with the help of some large screws. Instead of using a plate, we're just putting the screws through the peak. We're using the newest designed implant. Asking for more x-rays to ensure everything is where he wants it. X-ray. It's been two and a half hours since George was wheeled in and Dr. Mango is happy with what he sees. There's my implant in place, my two screws in place, both locking mechanisms in place, and everything's good. We're done. Aww. A round of applause from his team. Now Dr. Mango just needs to stitch George up. How did it go? Went, went fine. This, um, this is a great procedure that works really well for, for patients, a minimally invasive incision. He'll get up, he'll be walking this afternoon. George was up and walking just two hours after surgery. And a month later, he's doing great. His wife says it's hard to keep him down. My thanks to the surgical team at St. Joe and George for allowing me and photojournalist Don Schoenfeld into the operating room so we could show you this amazing procedure. After that, George went home the next day. The procedure is not for herniated discs. It's for people who need disc replacement. And if you'd like to know more about this surgery, go to our website and click on Moe's Medical Moment.